Hey people, welcome to the channel, and in this case, it's gonna be a review of the Petzl Tactica Plus. Not just a little tabletop review, but actually having used that thing for nine months. Yeah, time does fly. I had to actually check that out. But before I go on, I wanna announce a couple things. First of all, tomorrow live with Matt, 3 p.m. EST, Eastern Time. That's gonna be great. We're gonna talk about everything that's been going on. We're gonna catch up with Matt Bracken. Uh, he has a new book that I would love to have him talk about. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow, 3 p.m. EST, I'll see you guys here in the channel. Also, I have the Spanish version of Surviving the Economic Collapse, the book that I, I wrote uh, a few years ago. Finally in Spanish. This is something that has been requested from my Spanish community channel uh, for a very long time. It was a lot of work and it's actually an uh, updated and expanded version. But if you want to uh, read it in, in Spanish or you're just watching this and you happen to be a, a Spanish guy that would prefer to have it in Spanish, there you go. The links are going to be there below. It's available everywhere in Amazon.com, .es. No matter where you are, if there's an Amazon, they will deliver it. So I'm super happy with this. It was a lot more work than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, this, the, the box from Amazon got glue on the cover and messed up my nice, my nice first copy, those Amazon people. But anyway, hey, I'm very happy and I think the cover is a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments there below. Uh, I have to do that cover for the English version too because it's, I think it's much more visible and much I don't know, sharper looking. Anyway, so those two things. Matt, book and see you guys tomorrow. But let's go into what the topic of this video is actually about, which is reviewing the Tactica Plus. So having actually used, yeah, I guess both of these uh, for uh, a while now, I've all, I've mostly used this one. This one is the one that stayed around home mostly. This is the one that came along with me uh, when, when uh, traveling or doing a little bit more of, a, uh, of an outing of some kind and usually goes in my little EDC bag. Now, it's not fair to call it EDC because I don't carry this every day. Now, I'm not really doing long excursions every day either. So if I'm just gonna do something nearby, there's really not a point in me carrying beyond my pocket EDC. I'm already pretty covered with those. And as you probably know already, my pocket EDC is quite beefy on its own. It's not as if I'm trying to go super light on anything. So my pocket EDC covers things. But if I'm traveling, if I'm doing a, a longer, even a, a, a day a hike or a little day visit or something, usually it's gonna come along with me. And here I have a nice first aid kit in the exterior pocket, but here on top, is where the Tika lives, along with a few other things, little first aid kit with basic little pills and such, um, a little flashlight, a flashlight, a little um, a lighter and so on. But this has been here all along and I have used it a few times, especially when uh, not wanting to uh, turn a, uh, a light on or, or stuff like that or you know the typical stuff you use a flashlight for. And I already knew what I was getting, so it wasn't, oh, this is a big surprise. If you've never used a headlamp before, then yes, it's gonna be a big surprise. But I've been doing this for a long time. I've been in the, in, in the survival and prepper world for many years, and one of the first things I learned, especially going through this in Argentina and actually needing uh, flashlights a lot, is that there's no, uh, that, that a, a headlamp is basically priceless. The ability of orient and put light exactly where you need it while having both hands available, that is huge. I mean, you probably are thinking, why so much? I mean, you already have your EDC flashlight, that, right, this or something else, something even bigger, more powerful, and that is correct. I do have, but this is about layering. This is about redundancy. This is about having a flashlight in my keychain, having a flashlight in my pocket, and having a, a dedicated flashlight for emergency use if I ever need that. Worst case scenario, attack, natural disaster. Keep in mind, half the day it's dark. Besides that, sometimes, very often, you're inside large structures. You may be underground. You may be in a huge airport that lost power. Whatever the thing is, this could be massive. And for the price, I mean, I got these. These were not sent. Uh, I bought these myself. I paid like 20 bucks because it was on a, on a special sale there in Amazon. Uh, and 25 bucks, I believe, for the, the Tika Plus. Um, 
but there's no reason to not have this if you're carrying a bag. If you have a bag, this should be basically like a bottle of water, right? And a little first aid kit. These are things you, you wanna have with you. Um, there's, and usually when you ask, when you see uh, prepper, survival experts, uh, and knowledgeable people, you know, for real, not just any, any average Joe, no, but someone that does this for a living, the first thing they will say is, have a pocket knife, have a multi-tool, Victorian Knox, I will say Leatherman because I'm a little bit uh, uh, more leaning towards having a more capable tool, but also it's gonna be have a flashlight. Dear God, have a flashlight with you. Even if it's a tiny little Tika flashlight in your keychain or a, or a little single AAA flashlight in your, in your keychain, having a flashlight is huge compared to not having it when you cannot see. There's just no way uh, of comparing how huge of a difference that is. Having said all of that, let's get to why I like the Tika Plus. Now, I won't make a huge deal out of it. I think that both are excellent, especially for the price. Uh, they are way beyond what you're paying in terms of, uh, of the product you're getting, especially for the price point of 20, 25 bucks. It is great. I'll leave the links below if I find it, as well as uh, for my books, as I always do. Um, but either one will serve you very well. There's not really a massive difference. Yes, one is 300 lumens, the other one is 350. Other than that, use three AAA batteries, and the rent run time for either one of these is, is quite similar. So it's six lumens on the, on the max burn time for 120 hours for the Tika, and 160 hours for a Tika Plus, I guess it has a little bit more of a, of a better or more efficient LED. Uh, standard, time, standard mode is 100 lumens, 40 hours for the Tika, and 45 hours for the Plus, and 350 lumens for the Tika Plus for two hours, and it's gonna be 300 lumens for two hours on the standard Tika model. So not huge difference. But one of the things that I like is that either one of these can handle a core. Basically, it's a lithium battery pack that can be recharged, as you see that, that there in the little graphic. There's gonna be a lot more power, of course, than just three AAA batteries. But the thing I like is options. You can recharge this with a normal USB charger. And that is huge, especially for those of us, that, I mean, you have a cell phone already, don't you? So the ability of recharging your headlamp on the go, if you have a battery pack as you should, that is another essential that you just don't wanna be without. This is massive. And the ability of using just any typical AAA battery that you find in uh, remote controls of most hotels, right? That is just enormous. Now, the things that are not mentioned here and that you kind of get as you use it is that, of course, there is a bit of a, you know, physical difference. The button is larger. Both of these buttons are very good. They're nice. This one is a little bit more shiny and if you're very tactically, maybe you want a less shiny case or, or body. I mean, it's not massive. This is a little bit nicer. I think the plastic's gonna be a little bit more durable. Just a personal feel that I have of it may or may not be correct, but that's how it seems. The button is indeed larger, and that makes it easier and more convenient to access. As you see, it has uh, a red light too, and in both cases, it can be accessed just by going with a long press on these. Long press means I don't want to turn on a white light, and you don't, and that's the military pedigree of these things. Keep in mind, you see guys with uh, night vision goggles that are like 30K, and they will have a 20 buck petzel on the, uh, around the neck. It's, that's how good these things are. For military guys, this is must have. And for survivalists and preppers, I think it is as well. Um, now, besides that, having the red lights and the white lights, and the white light you access with a long press, and you start with a low mode, right? And you click on it, and you go into low, medium, and high, and then you turn it off. Same thing for the Tika Plus. And that's okay, that's very intuitive, and I like that the long press access is the thing that is more of a, of a safety concern, right? No white light. Um, but the thing that I also notice is that the Tika Plus has better throw, and they do explain that here. They do talk about how much throw it has in terms of, yeah, it's gonna have a little bit, in the, on the medium mode, it's gonna be five, five meters more, and on the max mode, it is 65 meters for a Tika versus 90 meters for a Tika Plus. I, I will tell you that this is clearly a more a floaty light, right? The Tika, the standard Tika, and it's very nice. It has a nice spread and it's no artifacts, rings, or any dark 
lines going on here. Uh, but in this one, you clearly see that it has more of a throw. The amount of lumens is, is very close. You will not, especially in the low mode, it's six lumens for both. But this focuses and concentrates those lumens a lot more. And as you go on the higher modes, you notice it even more, right? You see how this is. So basically, this is a lot more throwy. The Tika Plus is a lot more throwy. The standard Tika is a lot more uh, floaty. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Tika Plus and revisiting the old standard Tika as well. You have the books either in Spanish or in English, as well as Street Survival Skills, which I believe complements the first book very nicely. And remember, tomorrow, the live stream with Matt Bracken. See you then. Take care.